Hey you guys, this is part three of the um, tutorial on how to do the wall stitch. Um, did I? Oh yeah, I also added another strand because I wanted it to be a little longer. It might be, um, but unfortunately, it's short. It's too short. It's longer than the other one, so I might cut it, take it out. Um, yeah. So what you're gonna do? is we're gonna take the side strands and put like a uh, two loops okay and it's gonna look like that then you're gonna take all of them take um these the ones that's on the sides and you're gonna go start out with the one that's um farthest on on the out you're gonna go over under and you're gonna keep going and doing this with all the strands until you get to the end and make sure before you go on to the next strand that uh, they're not um, tangled up the one that you the ones that you have already put in and be very 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 careful Okay. See, I just messed up. That's why you have to pay attention. Come on, come on. Don't fall apart on me. Okay. And then, um, this is my last one. I might have did, um, accidentally did some of these, um, slanted, I mean diagonal, and I hope I didn't. So I'm going to double check. So, let's see. strand. For some reason my eyes are burning like fire. Not like fire, but you know what I mean. Okay, then it's going to look like this. And then you're going to take it slowly and pull them together like this, like so. Once you get to your, um, your satisfaction, you take all the strands, not, you take all the strands together, including the ones on the side, and you, um, pull tight, turn it over, pull tight, yarn. You keep doing this um, over and over again, this pattern. I'm going to do it one more time. Go straight across. Straight across. Not diagonal. Straight across. And you take the strands and go over, under. Make sure they're not all in 
that and mess that. Or whatever. And then you do all of these together. Just like you did on the other one. On the first set that I did. The part four to this is uh, it's just going to be me showing you guys um, the results and what, the, what this looks like. But, um, might not do that. I'm not sure. Okay. Make sure they're not all twisted up. Once you get them all in there, make sure they're not twisted or tangled or whatever. And they're all in there. And take them all together. It's going to look like that. All together and pull slowly together. Um, also at the same time using the ones on the outside. You want it tight. Not just tight. I mean, like, tight, tight. Then once you're satisfied with it, take it and pull them all together, including the ones on the side. And turn around. And do the same thing. Oh. And just keep going in this pattern over and over again, and you will see what this looks like. I hope this isn't ugly. By the looks of it, it might be. I'm not sure, but it might be. Because, look at it. It looks too, it's too much. All that together is too much. My knee, she sleep on my bed. Yeah, I would show her to you all, but she's asleep, and I don't want to wake her up or just bother her. I'll do a little small interview with her tomorrow. She wants to do another stitch in here. So that's it on how you do the um, the wall stitch, and um, I might be done with this. Um, I might. It depends on how long it gets or whatever. I might be done with this by the rest of the day because it's in the morning now. It's what it is. Um, put on guide. It's two. 30 in the morning so I might be done with this by tomorrow it depends on what I'm doing so there you go so again what do I always say in the end of my videos always say peace out smooches